So now we need to actually you know, start working on. Okay. Um, first, you need to prepare a set of oil pastel. Okay. Ruler, if you have, that's good. And I need to actually prepare like you know wide chisel tips marker there okay if you don't that's okay you can still use oil pastel okay and um that's actually pretty much you can have it if you have you can have kind of you know the lees of the you know, uh, container or jars okay and like the, you know small one okay so you could have you know various you know type of actually you know the uh, lees if you can then okay so I'm going to show you. So first, you know, I want you to actually create the uh, the border lines. Okay. So you can have a little bit of a border line. Doing this. Doing that. Okay. Um, then, you know, I'm just going to, you know, use the uh, marker just and uh, color it in. So I'm going to use the uh, orange. Okay. So what I'm actually you know, going to do is I'm actually you know, going to you know, create the you know, border lines. And uh, uh, basically you know, this is sort of you know picture frame. Okay. I just want to you know, show you all quickly so that you know I need to more you know focus on the you know, uh, uh, creating the abstract type of you know flowers then. Okay. So chisel tip is you know very easy to you know uh, uh, add in you know, colors and uh, quickly because it's wide, okay. All right, so let's say I'm done with this. You can make it a nice edge if you want to later. Okay. Alright, so I'm done with this. Okay. So now we need to actually start working on you know uh, flowers. So uh make sure that you know this is an abstract type of flower. So I don't want you to you know shape of you know flower in reality as you're doing it. You know, just for the, you know, uh, like, you know, big flowery shape. So I want to actually start, you know, uh, using a template. Okay. The flower is in it then. And then maybe some a little bit. Small flower. So uh, if you're using in you know, a template, it would be a lot easier. Okay. If you don't, that's okay. You know, you can do it then. Uh, you can just, you know, uh, do it on your own. Doesn't matter. Okay. And I'm gonna actually do this one and overlapping it. It's fine. If you don't, that's okay. You don't need to, you know, overlapping it. Okay. All right. Okay. So since I actually did, okay. Let's say, you know, this is the leaves. Okay, it's very simple and uh, you can actually follow easily. Okay, all right, so uh, here is actually a color set of an oil pastel. I need to focus on the you know, warm tones. So remember the inner you know, colors that you know we actually you know, tried on, right? For the you know, concentric, you know, the circles from you know, Kandansky. So I'm gonna actually you know, color it in, in very detail. Okay. And make sure that you know you need to actually you know, concentrate colors and also you know, inside, and then maybe some a little bit in a yellow. Okay, you can do that way too if you want. Okay, the next flower. Okay, I want to start with maybe in you know, a this type of an orange. Hello, and then just like that. Okay. And then an orange. I'm sorry, uh, the yellow inside. 
And if you want, you can go back and then red a little bit just like that. Okay, so this is a type of you know, a circular shape, right? Yes, but it seems like in you know, an abstract type of you know, flower that we are going to you know, create. Then the next one, you know, maybe I can go for uh, maybe a pink. Because we need to actually focus on the you know, warm color. Make sure that you, know, you need to use the uh, warm color by using this one then. And then this, mandarin orange, and then a yellow. Okay. So this is how I actually you know, create any colors in. All right. Then the next one, you know, I want to actually you know, do the you know, yellow for the you know, outer side. Okay. Concentric circle. Draw it on. And then the inside. Okay. And then maybe this color. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. I want to try this color then. I want to try this. Circular shape, and then do this, and then maybe in a dog red, a point, okay, and then back to a red. Please actually make it in a clean, nice in a color, uh, if you can. I'm just you know doing here because you know I may be uh, running out of time actually recording this one, so please you know understand you know if I just did kind of you know. Uh, little roughly then okay but you know for your case you, know, you can do a much better look and let me do this one should we do this one okay yeah i want to go back and maybe a, a red and then do this and then do that okay and uh, once you finish okay let's say you know i'm done okay And then you can go back, do this, okay? And then I do this, and then I do this, and then I do this, okay? Then maybe I should go back and center, and then center, okay? And then center, and then a bit of a little more, you know, colors inside, right? So let's say, you know, I'm done with warm colors remember you know we are going to create a warm tones on this okay then you know we need to create the you know, um, a cool colors by using the the stalks of the you know, uh, flower then branch okay so i'm going to actually start with a uh, greens okay maybe the uh, lighter greens you can do a little bit, you know, uh, put it in together just like this, okay? And let's see, you know, how nice, you know, colors arrange all together in them. Then I'm going to do a little bit lighter blues in, back to a lighter greens, okay? Maybe back to our hunter greens, all right? And then this type of... Uh, a little bit of olive colors in okay so uh this is what you know maybe you can work on 